Last year has been a whirlwind for Chris Roberts. He moved to Stockton Springs from Indiana with his girlfriend and two dogs, started a business, and is now fielding orders from around the country. The business is Bark Wheat's Dog Biscuits. Kara Matazuski visited him in his bakery, which is in the basement of his home. It was really Renee that said, she says, you know, you can't keep baking breads and brownies and cookies and all this stuff for us, and our neighbors don't want it anymore, so we got to figure out something else. So Chris Roberts took his girlfriend's advice and started making dog biscuits, but not just any dog biscuit. By weight, the sea veg ones are 97% main source, mm -hmm. and by weight, the uh, ginger and parsley ones are 95%. Nearly 100% of the ingredients come from Maine. Barkwheats are made with buckwheat, a seed that's typically used for pancakes. It is milled in Union. The eggs are from a farm in Gouldsboro. Honey from gardeners in Swanville. Seaweed is collected along the coast. And the water is from Robert's Well. His dedication to his home state doesn't end there. When we started thinking about being able to offer these to people, um, there really wasn't a question in our mind that uh, about having compostable packaging. All of it can go right back into the ground his dogs Baxter and Sabine run on to start the process all over. There's no leftovers at all when it comes to the product. One of the reasons why they chose the ingredients that they did is because they didn't want to just make it good for dogs, but good for people too. And so this is awesome, there's, you know, dog biscuits that I can share in the joy with. I used to do it one biscuit at a time, too, and that was tough on my wrists and my psyche. Baking has always been a part of Robert's life. His family owned a restaurant in Bangor. Some of the bread pans decorate the small room in his home's basement where he now makes the biscuits. It's time consuming, but... It took him about four to five weeks to master his recipe. Baxter and Sabine did the testing along the way. Wheat-free treat. There's lots of dogs with allergens out there. and So there's no soy, no corn, no gluten. Robert started selling bark wheats online in November. By January, the biscuits made their way into stores. They're in lots of other places around the country. In San Diego, Vermont, St. Louis. Um, lots of places are picking them up, which is great. He says he's surprised at how quickly his business grew. Now that summer's here, Roberts is also selling the treats at local farmer's markets. Lots of people will say, gosh, you must have been doing this forever. How come you just started the markets? And I'm like, well, we just started the company in November. And they're like, in November? Holy cow. He says going to the market, he knows exactly what customers think of his product. Seeing their dogs and finding out how much the dogs love them and how the, like the ginger and parsley ones help the dogs' breath. Roberts does all the baking himself. He cuts each biscuit, stamps it, and stores it until time for baking. I'm going to fit 70 on a sheet. The design on the stamp he uses is no accident. It goes back to the heart of the company. The three spirals in it is for life, death, and rebirth. And so it's a circle of life sort of thing, uh, which is appropriate for what we're offering in that, you know, we use um, products that come from the main soil. And the product that we make with that gives life to dogs, our companions. And then once they're done, then that goes back into the earth to be reborn again into the fruit and vegetables that we eat. Uh, so that's a major reason that we use, and that's really the only reason that we use that. Right now, the process is slow. I can do about 1,200 biscuits in a day. But he's looking at investing in a machine that would double that in an hour. He's also trying to get more products from Maine farmers, specifically organic certified chamomile. I'm searching for a farmer to grow, and I only need like 2,000 square feet. For right now, he figures he's doing okay. Who knows what the next year will have in store. And there you have it. Right now, Bark Wheat sells at several stores in Maine. We've put a link to the full list of those stores in the 207 section of our websites. And if you're a certified organic chamomile farmer, Chris would love to hear from you.